Hey, it's been like 500 years since you've seen me. I'm trying to get comfortable here in the car. Um, it's been decades. Let me see if this... Not much better, really. It's been decades since you've seen me. Um, I've had like five emotional breakdowns and... Whew, just too much going on. But, um... Mm, I ain't put on nobody's makeup. This is just what it's gonna be. But... I wanted to make a comeback. I wanted to come back and do Greenleaf. Um, but I decided to come back a little early and do The Quad. So I'm going to talk about it. And I'm going to see if we can um, get some weekly reviews going on. Um, basically, The Quad on BET. New show, Anika Noni Rose. Um, Jasmine Guy. Who else? Just a bunch of black actors and actresses that you know from, you know, forever ago. So it starts off with, uh, what's her character's name? Anika Noni Rose's character's name is Eva. Eva's running, she's running, and she runs up to this bad house. It's sickening. She gets in there, and she sees some letters, some some, some documentations, and she rips it up. I really wasn't, I, I was half paying attention. So she rips it up, and she um, is like, they can keep this. I don't have time. I, I'm, it's not needed. All of that. Oh, I just look a mess. Wow. Oh, well, anyway, so she rips it up. Blah, blah, blah. Her husband mentions something, or her estranged husband. Or divorced? I'm not clear. I think it's estranged. But he mentions something about her being blackballed. What's that about, right? Okay, so then we switch over all of a sudden to this boy named Cedric. And um, she doesn't know it yet, but the girl who plays my um, Cedric's mother on the quad is actually my cousin my distant cousin Demetria McKinney she's on my great grandmother's side of the family so when me and my mama saw her um, we were just like up oh, there go your cousin you know it was <laughs> it was very it was very loud actually very random but um yeah so Cedric is getting sent to Georgia he was at somebody's club and somebody that got killed and he running and blah 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 he comes in all late out of breath his mom was like oh you got to go so he was gonna go to Chicago State or something like that because he's from Chicago his mom was like mm, no we're gonna send you to Georgia so he goes down to Georgia um Sydney is Eva okay I'm trying to get these names together Sydney is Eva's daughter and she's a piece of work. She got an attitude. She's talking about, I don't want to live with you. I'd rather live with my daddy. You know, bump this. I'm not trying to go down to Georgia. Blah, blah, blah. Just a lot. So, um, then we switch over to the little girl. I don't remember. I think it's Noni. I'm gonna probably just call her little girl. Because she seems very little girlish. She was uh, playing that saxophone down, like, to the ground. She was playing the thing. Very impressive work. As someone who used to play the saxophone, um, never was a fan of the saxophone. I was just forced to play it in middle school. But she, she was she was killing that thing. And um, the music director, I'm sorry if I sound a little, I'm cold because I'm in the car because I don't have my studio because my home was taken from me. So I'm in the car and the car don't have no heat. So there's no point in even turning it on. But anyway, little girl was playing down. She was playing the saxophone. The band director comes up and, you know, stops in front of her. And she's like, oh my God, you're just the greatest person I've ever met in my life. I started playing the saxophone when I was six because of you. You're sickening. Da 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 da. I love you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she starts to recite, I guess, the band. Excuse me. That was a, a hefty. I just ate. Like, just ate like five minutes ago but anyway um she starts she starts reciting the creed and we're gonna call him ignorant nigga ignorant nigga um comes out of nowhere like who do you think you are you think you can recite my creed be like what 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 i'm like can't you see this as a baby she's like she has to have just turned 18 if she's 18. She's probably 16 and graduated early. This is a child. Stop hollering at her like this. It was real ignorant. So anyway, um, so ignorant, ignorant nigga starts hollering, blah, blah, blah. We get to see little girl in her room. She's got this roommate. The roommate plays the sex too. And 
you know, it's really, it's, it's, they got this little kinship and, and everything, and they're both like, oh, well, I hope I make the team, I hope I make the team. Well, little girl doesn't make the team, but roommate does. So, little girl is hurt, she's hurt deep down in her soul, she don't know what she's gonna do, blah, 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 right? Okay, so then we switch over to some boy who wants to be a rapper, and it was not clear to me, and it's still not very clear to me, it's kind of clear, but then it's not really all that clear. I put some little boy who wants to be a rapper in my notes. <laughs> is that I think that's Cedric, right? Cedric from Chicago. He wants to be a rapper. He's in the studio, he's using up his mama's money to um to play to to just sit around in the studio basically and listen to beats. Like you need to have words ready when you get to the studio, honey. We don't have time. We don't have money. Um so Eva and the football coach scoop down i know i'm jumping all over the place but i'm just jumping in the order that the show went so i'm hoping this comes out coherent but if it don't I, i'm doing my best i haven't been on youtube in years not literal years but long time so even the football coach dropped down to bo john john bo i think it's bo john little white boy bo john his daddy is like um i don't think i'm gonna send my my caucasian son to your nigga establishment because how many more um, Caucasians will there be, basically, was his big thing. And, ooh, God, it's cold out here. Um, and the coach was like, oh, we really need your son. We really need your son. He was like, look, ain't nobody beating down your little white son's door. We think he'll be cool here, but if you don't want him here, then you just don't want him here. Bye. Let's roll. Leave your car. Told the coach, put your card on their coffee table. Let's get out of here. I don't. We don't beg for for students. Like, who do you think you is? Who the f do you think you is? Um, <laughs> I got kind of hyped there for a minute, but um, so white boy ends up getting to the school. They are whooping. <laughs> this boy's tail like he's running they running into him i don't know much about football but it looked like it hurt whatever it was they are slamming into this boy it's all dramatic and yada yada and basically they're trying to paint the picture of um how white people get discriminated in black black areas black spaces which is true it's true but you know i didn't care for the picture so they whooping him blah 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 <clears throat> we get to a party Sydney is down here. Excuse me. Sydney is down here fin to move in with this white girl she just met. Like she's tiptoes outside the party or whatever. She's got her little vape pen. She sees this other girl with a um a joint. They both stopped there like, Oh my god, I thought you were the police. Whatever. So, um the white girl is like, Well my joint's already lit and I'm like Okay, that's nice. I would have been like, all right, I've got this vape pen, um, so I don't have to like mine. Thank you for sharing. And I would have used my own because I don't know who you are. I don't know where your lips have been. And I, that's one thing I don't understand about people, sh like people smoking weed. Why do y'all? Why are y'all sharing blunts and stuff? And y'all don't know where these these girls' lips have been. That's. But whatever. So anyway, the white girl. Um, is like, yeah, I had this roommate or whatever, but come on now, give me. I'm tired of holding this because I'm really cold and I want to put my hands together and rub them and things because I'm cold. So we just gonna have to give it this angle. But the white girl is like, yeah, my roommate, she moved out or whatever because um, I'm disgusting basically. <laughs> and Sydney, the daughter, she was just like, sounds good to me. I'll move right in. And I'm saying like, who? If somebody tells you that somebody physically moved out of a location because they are nasty, why would you? I just, mm -mm, my spirit, my spirit, she gonna move in with this nasty white woman and I just, like, at least come by the room, see what she talking about before you agree, but whew, it's cold out here, whatever. Okay, so we get to the scene where I think this is Cedric now, I'm still not clear clear but um we get to the scene where um we, we're still at the party cedric we're gonna say it's cedric and definitely but cedric is up on this stage <laughs> my mama said this sound like gospel rap and this naked boy is on stage doing this gospel rap i hollered because he was singing something he kept saying oh lord or something like that and i was like you know this could be passed off as a gospel rap song 
But um, he's up there shirtless, yada yada yada. He rapping, blah blah blah. The, the crowd wasn't hyped. There was a girl in front of, in the front of the stage with a full purse. I'm like, me and my mama both looked at each other like, girl, why you have a full satchel, a full evening bag, at the function? This is not, like, it's not the time. So um, anyway, gospel rap, <laughs> naked boy, he. You know, Snapchat's the picture, we out here working, yada, yada, yada. And I think that at this time his girlfriend has come to town. I'm not, wait, maybe not. Anyway, I didn't put that in my notes when she got here, so we we not going to know for sure. But, um, so anyway, um, the girls, they did make the team, roommate and, you know, a bunch of other girls. They're like, oh, I'm so happy to be on the band, let me Snapchat this, so they're Snapchatting. Ignorant nigga comes in. He's like, "What do you think you're doing in my blah 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 and da 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 da? Put that phone down. Meet me in the office. You ain't gonna need your instruments." So they get in the office. We hear this loud crash. Right. Next thing you know, roommate is in the hospital in intensive care. Look like she in a coma. I'm like, "Oh, oh no, 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 no." So um, Eva gets word that we've got a student in the hospital. She has some sort of accident or band practice. Yada yada yada. And so she confronts the band director. Band director is like, let me handle my stuff. You stay out of... Like, and band director is ignorant. He an ignorant fool, too. Like, eh. Okay, so anyway. All of a sudden, um, Eva's on the phone. She's on the phone with her estranged husband or possibly ex-husband. And he's, she's like, hey. <laughs> and he's like, um, hey, is Sydney okay? What's going on? Oh, I miss this. I miss the concern in your voice, yada, yada, yada. And he's like, mm, okay, girl. Then the, the door rings. The door rings. The, somebody knocks on the door, the bell rings. So I'm like that. And she's like, oh, I bet this is Sydney coming to wash her clothes. Some fine nigga <laughs> is at the door. And I saw him and I said, now surely she's not creeping with the deacon. She's creeping with the deacon, y'all. She, um, as soon as she sees him, she hangs up on her estranged husband. And he like, okay, I guess, whatever. And um, all of a sudden, she starts like making out with with dude. And um, next thing you know, he's cooking her breakfast in the morning. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> that was that was one way to introduce us to our main character having an affair, possibly or sleeping with this child. Cause I'm looking at him, I'm like, is he even legal? How old is he? My mom was like, well, he's probably legal, but he's really young. I'm like, mm, this still seems a little questionable. So he cooking her breakfast, yada, 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 they kissing, blah, blah, blah. She's, he's like, oh, what time is it? I got to get to class. She's like, oh, it's a long drive back to Connecticut. Are you going to make it in time? He's like, oh, no, I'm a student. Here, have a good day. <laughs> and he walks out the door. She pulls up on her computer. She's typing his name, and I don't remember his name. We're going to call him Cutie. Cutie pops up listed as what is it a wild cat a, a mountain cat i think it's mountain cat and she's like oh holy night the stars are brightly shining it is the night of our dear savior's birth so anyway we get back to roommate beat up roommate Room, roommate in there having ridiculous seizures like so little girl is in there she's talking to roommate she's like girl you're not going to believe the day I've had, yada, yada. Just trying to, you know, give some normalcy or whatever. Roommate just starts seizing. Like, vi like, <laughs> like I'm, I really only did that so I could shiver because I'm cold. I'm so cold, y'all. My roommate is, like, giving you violence, like, vi like, stiff head, back, body, like, that, like, violent, violent seizure. And, um, anyway, her parents get to town. Eva comes in. She's like, oh, hey, I'm, I'm Dr. Eva Fletcher. Yada, yada, yada. You know what's happening to your child. I, I, I'm not feeling it. The parents are sitting there like, anyway, we not going to sue the school. We just going to take her out the school. We taking her back to Miami. I was like, Miami, my people. But anyway, um, they was just like, we not going to sue the school. We just, you know, forget y'all. Dr. Fletcher is like, um, sis sue the school <laughs> like i'm ready to pursue this come with me 